Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another Saturday Night Live stream where today we've got forts and fun. If you guys weren't here for earlier, we did the thing where we got to vote, we got to choose, and we chose forts over a Hydra near tonight. I know it's, it's a surprisingly close decision actually. Uh, kind of surprised that so many of you guys chose Hydra near. I guess you just like watching me suffer. But that's fine, and that's all right. So tonight, we're going to be playing some forts. The lobby is now open, so come one, come all. Anyone who wishes to join, by all means, the, pub the lobby is public. Let's have some fun, shall we? Well, it looks like we've got a um, relatively... Relatively high caliber lobby to start with, which I'm okay with. Perhaps we kick it off with something a little bit more exciting, perhaps? <laughs> Many people enjoy watching streamers suffer in their streams for some reason. I can't possibly imagine why. Yes, yes. Hello, everyone. Hello. The EDM is too much for you. You need something less like hard bass. Fair enough. I don't know. I've I have been looking for a good uh, electro swing or similar, but um, not not something I've been able to gain access to without extreme cost. But for now, let's go ahead and jump right into the first match, shall we? Well, hello there, Jack the Ripper coming in. For 13 months. Welcome back. I know you are enjoying that special access role on Discord, as well as the emotes here at the channel. Hello, as Kalija Anderson. Coming in with the 37 months. That is a lot of months. Hello there. How are you doing today? Hot chap does electro swing. He does. He does. It's also had claims. Content ID claims from Odd Chap because he likes to do his own thing. And you know what? That's fine. All power to him. I would just rather not have my channel removed. You know, it's just not something I'm particularly keen on. Like I can't really, can't really play with that. I'm not a sadistic on the internet. Yeah, yeah, we know. Welcome to chat. That's how it works every time. Uh, we're floating minerals away. Too much selling all at once. Okay. And all right, he got it first. All right, let's get this swapped in. Okay. And swing. All right. Oh no. Well, hello there. My dear sir, you did not read my milestone message. Did I not? <laughs> Suffering is a second favorite background noise. I saw it. I, you're correct. I did not read it aloud. That is, uh, that's my bad. I just want to click on this. Thank you. Everything right. is on fire. Everything is always on fire. Base removal equals fun. Channel <laughs> removal equals not fun. Let's have a good stream. Yes, I tend to agree. Hello there, Travis. Coming up with the everything is on fire. To remind us that everything is indeed on fire. Warning. Nuclear launch detected. Well, hello there. Uh, do I want to move this further back? Nah, we'll just drop it down a little bit more. Okay. We 
shall watch you embrace the spirit of our Lord and Savior Leroy Jenkins with great anticipation. <laughs> you know it. I'm actually going a little bit cautious this time. Uh, by that I mean taking the core swing nice and slow. Uh, we do need to get these going while we have the money for them. Uh, this is looking all right. Okay. Thank you, thank you. The angry otaku coming in with the absolute megaton. That was a 50. You dropped the 50? And taking that top spot so far. How do we vote? Uh, voting is already complete. Uh, you missed it. You have to check by for the announcements next time. Now, uh, I can't be this is one of these layouts here where i am concerned it's like anxiety inducing but like i can't denigrate it because it's not objectively terrible it's just risky and i question the decision to go with it but you know it's not it's yeah I, this is our life now Well, hello there. Jack coming in with a disrespect dollar. Why are you like this? By the way, satisfactory uranium has me angry smiley face. And uh, I'll yeah. with this dollar. <laughs> but the lizard doggo, it just wants to be friends and give you all the new glowing things that it found. Isn't it so cute? I saw... I, I didn't post it in No Ling Wands because I was out and about and I found it on my phone. But I found a post on Satisfactory Memes of an orange iguana. And typically iguanas aren't orange. They're usually green. But this sucker was straight up orange. Like lizard doggo orange. And it was hilarious. made me happy just looking at it bye okay so yeah this is more along the lines of what I expected reasonable <laughs> you dropped the Among Us question if we're doing this like this is the thing like there's nothing wrong with this but like why are we not Why is the tea always gone? Because I keep drinking it. One, I actually haven't tamed a lizard doggo yet. Two, Don's new best friend? Don's new best friend, oh no. How have you not tamed a lizard doggo? They're so cute. They do lizard doggo things. Like be lizard and doggo. The boat is shedding. It's the time of the season already. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. I actually was uh, out about today and encountered a a um. It's not a perfect return to sender, uh, but it matters. I encountered a duck family, complete with ducklings. So the duckling season is well and truly upon us. Ooh. Hey! Uh oh, bad. Yep. We are going to die. Did someone say disrespect dollar? <laughs> oh no. Mike and coming in with the nuclear launch, coming in with the disrespect dollar. 52 beating out Jack the Ripper by the one. Why are you guys doing this? This is how bad decisions are made. Okay, so unfortunately, we got slammed here pretty hard. I don't think I did that. I don't think I was the one who activated that despite me attempting to do so. Whoa, Warning. oh. Nuclear launch detected. Disrespect Penny on top. Jack the Ripper fires back. 
Uh, that was a tier three. Apocalypse. <laughs> Geese of the Apocalypse. Oh no. But they're not. They're not that bad. They're cute. Where is the fire? Here is the fire. Okay. Uh, what else did we need? To add more weaponry. Yeah. Kind of out of metal is what's going on here. That does not land. Yeah, okay. Engage. All right, so next up, we add some more weapons, yeah? Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay. Okay. I missed. That's unfortunate. I rebuild. Keys of the apocalypse. But what did the lizard doggo do? And it's gone. Nuclear launch detected. Uh oh, nuclear launch coming in from the anchor Otaku dropping our whole disrespect dollar taking that top spot from Jack the Ripper. Oh no. All I wanna do is fire these shots. Uh oh. This is how it ends. Geese are the spawn of Satan and should be treated as such. But they're so honky. They make honk noises. I'm accustomed to having geese around and being friendly toward them. Oh, hello. Uh, tier 3 from space. We have done nothing to defend against these tier 3s. We are being defeated at every stage. We have gone for meme strats, and they have ended horribly. As Patrick Barter comes in with the laugh. Finally beat the hardcore brutal difficulty of Rift Breaker. Oh, that sounds like a life decision right there. Certainly one that's going to be time-consuming and difficult to uh, difficult to actually pull off. I have mostly just heard about it because I haven't played the difficulty my that difficulty myself. Yep. Okay. Did someone say airstrike? Because we have basically not even fired back at our opponents yet. That's that's the status of the world right now. Where's why? Okay. Well, this is our life now. Hey, you. Time to stretch. Nope. Dear Team One, we don't put bracing in front of the laser. By the way, I have hit my donation limit. Intrusus wins this round. Oh, no. oh and Intrusus. In that story, Satan put all of Canada's malice into the geese. So they always go to hell greater than three. <laughs> that one's always a funny, uh, funny one. I've heard that I don't know how many times, and it makes me laugh a little bit every single time. Alright, so generally go that direction generally go that direction thank you yeah like we've not fired weapons at them yet which is a problem shooting a sniper at them doesn't count because 
we try to get gimmicky with it, and this is what happens. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that counts. This is why I end up... I gotta ask, I saw the prestigious players. Are they on team two? I guess not really. Because there's some incredibly concerning behaviors that I've seen here. Solid hit, and... Alright. Solid hits. Beautiful oh. hits. Okay. Oh. Gotta go now, winking face. If someone passes 53 ping me in server... <laughs> well, you know, I'm not going to do that, but... <laughs> I, I will... I'm sure you will find out one way or another. Have a good one out there. Good luck out there, Jack. Don't get carried away uh, too much. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright. Uh, why no metal? Uh, because it, it all got spent. That's why no metal. Good solid hits. Is that actually going to burn out? No, but close. Okay. The whole portal thing, you really got to stop not covering the door. Like, that's a problem. You can't, you can't do that. Like, please. You gotta have a door. Like, I'm sorry, if we, we keep taking hits like that, we're just going to lose. <laughs> I'm just firing in the general direction because we don't have money to do things right now, and I like removing them from having money. These are a little bit close. Tier 3 lookouts. Good solid hits. Okay. Nice. Hey you, time to stretch. Hello there. Tried so hard, got so far. The end, all our energy is upgrading. Okay. Let the piercing active. It's quite strong, yes. Alright, well, I guess we're, we're not going to have things for some time. Everything is on fire! Everything is always on fire. It's as if you don't trust me. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'll send you screenshots of my spaghetti conveyors later. Yes, I am curious. Because it's... I can only imagine the madness that you've come across. That you've created. Okay. And... Splash down. Oh, nice. Alright. That should be good. Progress is progress is made. Okay. 
That'll do. That'll do nicely. Cuts are deep. Okay, is there going to be a door wherever he puts that? I certainly hope so. This is an issue. Fortunately, this could be solved fairly quickly. Like so. Okay. And launch it. Those are going divergent. Ooh, a beautiful hit. A few more solid hits here. That might deform things somewhat. Okay. Alright. Um, can I get rid of this instead? Put this here. And then I will rebuild the ammo I deleted here because it was not actually being used. Alright. Uh, I am concerned that they are going to... I'm sorry, what happens? Well, that's not ideal. I'm not entirely sure what caused that. But that's going to set us back dramatically. After those Nighthawks did so much damage. Alright, I will let you rebuild that. Oh, those are not going to... Okay, those need to be aimed. The deformation is coming in pretty hard now. Those need to be re-aimed manually now. Yeah, okay. Individually, I should say. Uh oh. The tier threes. Oh boy. Uh. Nukes. Alright. Uh oh. Why are you like this? <laughs> hello there, Patrick. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the party. How are you doing today? Coming in with the laughter. Such joyful, joyful laughter. Alright, so this is the only one that can be fired right now. So, um... Cannot be fired right now. Collapsing. That is so much damage. Oh, that's a dead. That's going to be a dead core. Okay. That's good enough to do something. Because we're taking hit after hit. Too far. Too far. Yeah, a little far. Okay. I'm going to need to fix these because we're going to run out of power if we don't. Okay. Dial back. Dial back. Slight dial back.
good solid hits. Alright, this needs to be moved. There is no justifiable reason to have that in front. It should have been moved a long time ago, along with most of the other things in the base. But, uh, it's not the world we live in. No! Why? And you didn't even put the door on it! I can't. Like, at this point, I'm just shy of selling off everything that half of the people built. It's actively detrimental to the team. Like, what am I supposed? <sighs> okay. Like, I, I try. I can only go so far. Alright, I am going to build a platform to launch tier 3s so that we can actually fire some weapons. We're floating money away for some reason, which means literally nobody else is doing things. You have no more patience. Understandable. I... I get that feeling. I, I really do. Okay. Oh, well, there goes all of our energy. We are now at negative 200s. Okay. Firing. It's the last of that we're going to get. And it got some hits, so that's nice. Hey, got one of their cores. Sweet. Why are we still on fire? Okay, underneath the water. All right, so that will help somewhat. This needs to go away. This is deformed beyond reason at this point. Just reclaim some of the money from it. Just move those. I know, right? Okay. Ooh, we're running out of money here. Oh, they're penetrating deep under deep. Why are we selling? Okay. I just want to point out, you just sold th the only thing in front of and defending our our wind production. Oh look, it got hit by a cannon. It'd be great if there was something in front of it. <laughs> Real trouble is now there's no planes, now they have them. Yeah, we we'd spent ridiculous amounts of money leaving making exposed runways which is not Warning. a great experience detected. hello there JR spike 23 coming with the nuclear launch hello there how are you doing today incursion detected nuke away hello hello Ooh, 
Ooh, fire beams for bonus damage. That was a lot of damage. This is the end. Huh. They didn't quite have enough. There it is. Okay. GG. <clears throat> That was, uh, not as one-sided as I expected it to be, given the experience differential between the teams. Half a million damage, I know, right? That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Let's do it again. <laughs> I want to do it again. I want to do it again. So how are you guys doing today? The co-op feels gray here. It really does. It really does. My, uh, I've got a fair few grays already. And again, I've had gray hair since like high school, so that doesn't, that doesn't mean much. Okay. I'm tempted to not even get the upgrade center so that people aren't tempted to use it. Okay, energy production is in progress. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I wouldn't I wouldn't delete it, but I understand that feel. Nothing wrong with upgrading, it's just there's a time and a place for it, and most people don't know that time or place, and you can get yourself in trouble if you do upgrades at the wrong time and in the wrong place. Then everyone has to suffer with your mistakes. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Excellent, yes. <laughs> so the upgrade center then. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what Noah did. Then somebody placed it down and then someone sold it again. I'm going to place it down so that we can get upgrades at some points in time and, and just hope that someone doesn't do the thing that people tend to do. I will wait for the What on earth? Six ropes? It's going to take forever. Okay, so in a rare instance of... Okay. Because, like, there's a limited amount of time that you can spend on these things before you're just beyond capable of coming. He intends this to be... I see. Okay. Not what I expected, but I can work with that. Go. There it is. There it is. Sweet. So glad that tier 3 didn't hit. Did that get removed? Okay. Uh, let's do... This. Noah, please defend against tier 3 sooner than later. Just saying. Okay. 
Is this actually attached? Or is it just... I'm not convinced that's actually attached. I think it's just... Sitting there. Roped. Which, like... Okay, but... Alright, well... Yeah, it's, it wasn't attached, I don't think. Okay, um, I, I guess I can work with that. That's a lot more than I was expecting. And, all right, that's too much angle. It's going to cause some issues. Doors small. These are here. We're going to need the upgrades on these guys to kick in before we can really utilize. Okay. One, two, three, solid hits. All right. Yeah, we did have our AA kind of gunned down quite a lot, didn't we? Okay, we do one and two. We're going to need a battery platform here, which hurts me to build, but nevertheless, I'm going to have a few of these upgraded. There we go. We hit their batteries. At least a minor battery reaction. We seem to do better with the battery chain reactions on high seas boat as opposed to a standard pre-high seas boat. Six? You want me to build six? Okay. We're absolutely going to do this now, then. Like, this has got to go. So one, two, and three are good. Four is good. Five is also good. Six, we didn't get to fire this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
All right, we got another heavy hit here. Uh, okay. In this instance, we are actually going to need upgrades, Noah, because we're we're running six portals. Like we we need ridiculous amounts of energy production here. Okay, so I think one needs to dial back a little bit. It also helps that we've kind of ruined any and all of their energy production at this point, so us getting further ahead is just is a good thing. Like look at that. We're we're not positive on the energy at this moment. We're at fourteen hundred energy per second, and it's not enough. Turning into a full time job just manning these cannons. Four is too far. Okay. No, see, like we're not like we're not getting up toward the cap. That's how much weapons we're throwing at them. I dialed the four back a little bit. I don't think I dialed it back enough. <laughs> Tier 3 cannons do so much damage, they r can, yes. Yeah, alright, so that's better. Alright, yeah, now we're up to 1800 energy per second, and that's closer to enough. Okay. So this is, this was actually a lot better. I was extremely hesitant in going up to six tier threes, but um, we actually had players that were working on the economy and working on things that weren't self-destructive, which was beneficial to us. The reason I'm continuing to fire at the uh, rear, despite having most of it gutted, is because it's the only place where they can build things that aren't in direct line of sight to the forward cannons. So, like, I can prevent them from building something back here and it ha being safe. So, they have to build somewhere unsafe. Which is good. Yeah, we're up to upwards of 2k energy per second. You see, that's the way you want to do it. You want to slowly gradu You want to slowly build it up, or at least build it up during times when you aren't actively using all of your power. Yeah. That way you never run out of energy. You just have more energy to use. And all the excess energy gets invested into future energy endeavors. Death by cannon. This one I actually credit. I think this victory is more of a credit toward the additional tier threes than anything else. <laughs> Five tiny door cannons is nice. Yes. Definitely important. I still think the tier threes ended up doing more damage because twice I managed to snipe out their uh, their battery their battery chunks with these things. And that just that ruins you. I take those out along with most of the uh, most of the energy production throughout the entire game like they don't have they just won't have anything to shoot back with upgrade in a surplus not a deficit yes or at least when you if you're going to upgrade when you don't have a surplus at least understand that it's going to come at the cost of something this is usually the case. It usually just comes at a cost of something. Which is generally okay when the cost is immediate loss of the game. Or when the cost is not immediate loss of the game. If upgrading is going to immediately lose you the game, then 
or like permanently set you back, then by all means, don't do it. But that's very often the case that we see happening. Alright, so now it is only their central core. And the tier threes are landing. No energy production for you. They've got to have effectively no energy production. I think those direct fire cannons will do it. Or are they going to let it burn down? Okay, they're not letting it burn down. But the direct fire cannons, kind of surprised, didn't take it out. It's like they're adding to the howitzer. Oh my god, I didn't realize that we hadn't taken out their forward... Their forward, uh core yet. Okay. What happened? Did you self-destruct? Oh my god. Okay, well... This makes me happy, by the way. This makes me extremely happy. Like, I get it, it's way overkill, but like... It was a misinput, okay. I believe you, I believe you. Oh no, not half of the cannons. <laughs> That completely threw off all the aim that I may have had at any point in time. Two and three are short. Four is short. Five is short. Six is short. Okay. So one is long, everything else is short. So one dials back, everything else goes further out. Return to senders are here to cause a problem. No. Okay. All right. Never did get all upgrades on the mines. Why? Okay, I'm sure there's a reason for that. Alright then, I guess we're doing... Okay, I'm trying to end the game. Someone is unhappy with those. I can see that. That went so far. have return to senders. We have to get ANSI return to sender tech, guys. Like, come on. Alright, I'm just going to build it. And we're gonna live with that. It's like, that doesn't block the... It doesn't block it, what is... Okay. 
I like how we can build big boat with many missile. More return to sender, more tier threes will not help us in this instance. Why are you building? Just put any amount of doors on them, please. Why are you making this take so long? Like, we're just straight failing so hard to even hit them. dare to read my missiles. Uh, there may be a reason for it. I don't know what the reason is. Maybe it was blocking something. I don't know. All I can tell you is that it was deleted for a reason. If there was a reason to delete it, then by all means do so. I'm not perfect. I can make mistakes. But please, don't delete it just because you want to end the game by trying to ram 20 millimeters through a return to sender. Because that's not how that works. Boat surviving better than your old build. It is, and that's concerning. Are landing, taking chunks out of the base. Don't fire at the same time as the swarms. Thank you. Okay. Ugh. I am frustrated. Even in victory. I will say this. The person working on the energy production and the economy. Top notch. Very top notch. <laughs> Those tier threes are the most pain you've ever experienced. Oh no. That was... It was good. Yeah. <laughs> they tried so hard to sink a raft. Ah, if only, if only. We'll do one more of this, and then we'll jump on to the next one. To the next lobby. Let us go. Those were double props? Yes. Yes, they were double props. ICBMs are fun. They can be, yes. Alright, let's go. It was fun, but you have to go. Alright, good luck. Good luck out there. You saw some mini could figure out how to stack props on top of each other. I mean, we could do that. Uh, it's generally not worth doing, but that is possible to do, if that's what you're asking. You can stack 
turbines. You can stack all. You can stack any building on top of itself, more of itself. It's just time consuming. Very time consuming. <laughs> it's a lot of eco. It is a lot of eco. I'm okay with this. Don't understand. Why are we using background bracing for that, not just foreground bracing? Wouldn't that be better? about causing why worry about uh like what benefit is background bracing with a foreground bracing there <laughs> base well will make it hard to do this tiny bracing tiny doors yeah a little bit oh incoming cannon Someone's selling off the forward cannon instead of turning it into a weapon, which is fine. How close are we? We still got some time. Let's expand massively. And then sell this, this, this. Take heavy hit. Move on with life. Rebuild, reconstruct. What on earth is going on there? Oh. Why? No. There's no good that could possibly come from this. Nothing but death comes from this. Moving on. Yes, that is why I was trying to remove that. Okay. Getting distracted dealing with whatever that was instead of building weapon. Alright. Is he good? And he's got a good start. Nice. Okay. I can work with that. Uh, we do have the energy production to sustain this for the time being. Metal production, not so much, but we can deal with that. Are these 20 mils? No. I'm going to sell those. Oh, big scary. I feel like he was building tiny doors and didn't actually build the tiny doors. They weren't ready to go in time. About to be a little low on energy here. Okay, I don't care about the 20 mils being there for now because I have better things to do with my life than to. Okay, we're selling off all of our storage. It's okay, the storage has been replaced. Good, that's fine. I, I did not trust. I was wrong to not trust. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, did not expect that to hit its own door. At all. Both of those were too... F one was too far. Three was... Three was in a rough spot. So I don't know where two landed for obvious... Well, I do know where it landed. Uh, landed here. One needs to dial back. Two. Okay. Three. Three was actually pretty alright. One is good. Two, also good. Three. Good. Okay. Now we can sell these. Start working on the next one. Just use those as temporary research storage cannons. Or temporary resource storage cannons is what those are. Get rid of the rest of this. Mild wobble on the base, but it should flatten it out. Even it out. Firing. Okay. I'm concerned. Got the battery hit. And replace. Excellent, thank you. Keep firing! Those aren't protected. Those are not double doors. That would have been devastating. Okay, we do this. Base wobble has adjusted. I have to reaccount for that. Okay, time to reaccount for this. Got to add a fourth one in here. I'm just not going to mess with whatever he's doing. It's not super beneficial for us, but it's already the damage has already been done. It's not worth me. working against it. It's not worth me disabling it at this point in time. Almost not worth me disabling it at this point in time. One, two, and three. Good solid hit spots. Uh, I think I want to re-aim things here slightly. Uh, we could use some up Graded eco coming soon. Mm -hmm. What doesn't seem to adjust the strategy if they if we if they know what we're going to do? Uh, they have kind of. Uh, it's just kind of hard to tell if you don't know what you're looking for. Alright. 
interesting. Getting some good solid hits. Nice. Okay, so those are well aimed. We need to readjust these. Let's shut you down for a moment. You know, just in case. So we're hurting pretty hard here. Okay, reactivate. Solid hits. Uh, number five is a little far. At least it's not hitting the same spot where I'm aiming for the rest of them. Uh, let's do this. And give us a little bit of space here to play with. That's a heavy hit. I'm not going to fire. Is he going to sell it, or is he just going to risk it for the biscuit? Looks like risk it is the way to go. Dial number five back slightly. Incoming nukes. Oh, got a solid hit on the... on the. Looks like I got a door snipe on there, tier three. That's a, an amazing hit, then. Okay. That'll cause some problems for them. Alright. Nice job on the eco, by the way. Uh, notice how they have a, uh, a large platform out the front where they are... Where they are... Uh, Sitting with anti-air and missiles themselves. We kind of want one of those. Yeah, why no AA? That's a good question. Why no AA? Because you didn't build it. Why didn't you build it? Because you were hoping I was going to build it. Why didn't I build it? Because I was busy firing the tier 3s. Less of an excuse than an observation about how... APM is a limited resource. Okay. We took some heavy hits. We do not have the energy production to fire the 20 mil to fire the tier threes. We have to shut down some of them. I am electing to shut down the 20 mils because they are just not cost efficient. Going with the authoritarian option here. Hello there, Falkras. Welcome to chat. Yes. Very noble cause. Okay. Keep. Thank you. Ooh. That was a rough time to upgrade. It's so 
We will survive. Okay. Let's go. Exactly what George Orwell was referring to. Yeah, when he wrote 1984. Oh no. Uh, we are going to need to do something about that sniper of theirs. Uh, if I get one more hit here, I guess it won't really matter. I guess 323 cannon shots in the same spot of any kind would kind of break things. This lobby is just who can build the biggest boat. I mean, that's generally how RTS games work as a whole. Who has more things. They're digging... Hmm. Okay, I need to readjust my aim again. Should be about here. Five hits. I think we can bring the 20 mils back online. Is that, did I aim it a little bit too far? One is too far. Four is too short. Okay, one and f one is too far. Four is too short. I don't know what happened here, but I'm concerned. I think it got hit by our the return to sender. Oh, that's pain. Okay, one is too far. Four is too short. Okay. One is good. Two is good. Three needs a little bit more distance. Four is good. Five is good. Okay, so three is is a little short. Launching tier threes at us, which is understandable. All right. Repair. Solid hits everywhere. <laughs> Okay. Um, unfortunately, we are now relying on these tier 3 weapons to do damage, which is not the world we want to live in. Wow, that was close. Like, tier 3s are great auxiliary weapons. The 20s are back yet. It, it's, the 20s are not useless. They are just deeply suboptimal. They are effectively useless in most in most instances. So like having them is never going to really hurt you. It's just there's literally spending the money on anything else is just going to be a better option. So like having them there is it's not going to directly hurt us. It's just um It's just better to have them on something else. You're trying so hard to protect the smokes. I mean, you're doing well. About as well as it can be in this instance. Okay, fire. Well, that probably is going to break. Alright, we need to get rid of these now, I think.
Okay. Unfortunately, our tier 3 platform, our launchers, are now in front of the main tower. I wonder if that counts as that. It counts as the main tower, which is going to be an issue for us. I'm continually aiming at their rear, hoping to break out their economy, but like, where's number 5? Is it? Okay. Yeah, uh, we have to shut these down now, it would seem. Alright, tier 3s are offline. <laughs> 20 miles a day for noise. Yes, noise and, um... Noise and rule of cool, I guess. They are certainly cool to watch fire and to watch do things for whatever that's worth. Just, you know, it's worth a lot, but not going to win to the game. Ever. Oof, okay. Did not expect. Okay. This is a nightmare. Alright, so the whole purpose of building... Okay. whole purpose of building out here was to, uh... Create a spot where we can get antsy air going. Oh, jeez. Just build a. You know, with these being here like this, this one can't. But this one can. There is no hope left. I I believe you are correct. There is uh, no hope left here for us. This one is over. Oh, lost another cannon. Oh my god, I broke I broke their tier threes. That makes me smile. Incoming nukes, incoming nukes. And that's the end. GG. The amount of Swiss cheese we did to their base was beautiful. <laughs> that one, that one was fun. Forgot I lost backcore. Yeah, we lost that one pretty early. We'll give that a few seconds. If you guys want to come and join, now is the time to join. Because it's been a, uh, it's been a wild ride. What was it? I was actually playing some Conqueror's Blade yesterday. I had spent some time with my youngest brother. We were uh, looking to play a game together. And we're trying to find what new game can we play. I brought up Conqueror's Blade because it was actually a game I hadn't checked out in a long time. And it's a kind of game that he enjoys. So, like, it was interesting to try out. And, you know, it, it, it was actually pretty all right the uh the game experience was well it's conqueror's blade it, it plays well it plays how you would expect a good game to play and 
because we've created new characters we haven't gotten to the point where they've uh prevents they've grinded every last money out of us so what's going on here with steam i just got a notification that steam is disconnected i'm going to restart my forts then in the meantime take a look at this guy this guy has been living outside my front door for a while doing being a duck sitting on a nest of fluff it's duckling season so like these guys are everywhere any tasty tea i have orange juice and water today pina colada i you know i i had, last time i had it like last time i had a pina colada it was up in orlando because i went over to universal studios it was so good like it was so good when is it duck dinner time this so this duck is in front of my door in the first floor of the apartment and i'm right next to the entrance of the apartment so like literally everyone that tries to get back home has to walk past this duck. You can see it here in the picture. This duck is always surrounded by f gifts of food, of water, of it. The thing is like f becoming fat on all the breadcrumbs being thrown around at it. It's it's there, and at some point the duck is going to become desensitized to humans because I mean it kind of has to because every human that walks by the apartment complex has to walk within a few like a meter or two of the duck that's just how it works because it chose there it chose to make a nest in front of the door <laughs> it's like every time i go outside it's like it just, i get quacked at every day by the duck as i just go outside for the daily quack Actually, today it hissed at me because I think it was because it was rearranging. So like when I walked by today, I, uh, it was standing up and adjusting its eggs in its nest. And then as I walked past it, it turned to look at me and hissed at me. Probably because it was adjusting its eggs. Alas. I think that's a protected duck species. I don't believe that for a second. Those ducks are a problem, like an economic hazard for how many of them there are. Like it's a thing. Ready up. Don't look at the eggs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you just want to know that even though he won the, the destruction of your two threes, it stung. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I was aiming for because I couldn't aim for anything else. Those those cannons that took out the uh, tier three positions were the tier three cannons. They just got, our base got destroyed to the point where the tier three cannons were exposed to direct fire. And so I just fired back and just aimed at the only thing I could hit. It was about as much as I could. It's really unusual for a bird to make their nest near people. They're ducks. These ducks, they are everywhere. Like, they are a real problem. The team's concern you? Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be one-sided. Okay, so let me do sets. Sets kick duration zero and let's go. Welcome to the party, Alex. Ready up whenever you're good to go. The teams no longer concern you. I think they probably should. St uh, actually, oh wow. Okay. Not bad. I gotta play Forts the whole stream? Yes. Yes, I am. So, 
I I have it on not really good authority, but some suspicion that one of my friends is going to be playing a Minecraft map tonight at some point. Uh, ah, I forgot to add the new stuff. Why does the DLC come disabled? I want to play with the new toys. As I was saying, I have it on some suspicion that one of my friends is going to be playing the Minecraft map tonight. And they're probably going to do it on stream. Solid, maybe. So if that's the case, we may watch their stream. And react live to them running through the map. And then hopefully they can send me the footage later from their perspective. You start with the new stuff, we'll, we'll add it next round. I think you're coming disabled is that it isn't balanced for non-boat matches. Uh, I mean... I, I, can't, I, I can't... I can't... I haven't... I don't think I've played around with it enough to be able to speak notably about that, but... It isn't that bad. Minecraft is mad, he don't care who's playing. Oh no. Flash Giant is doing the new RTS game announced on June 9th. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw that. I saw the newsletter about it. They're doing some shenanigans. Seen it from a few sources. I am excited. Uh, that sounds bad. A good time over there? Okay. You're excited, especially considering where they come from. You have high expectations. Understandable. Hmm. I know what I want to do. It involves this. Honestly, I was uh, looking at the new Stellaris stuff. It just makes me want to play Dune Spice Wars more. Because with the Spice Wars 4X, it's like Stellaris, but doesn't take three days worth of game time to complete a single match. And it makes me want to play multiplayer Dune Spice Wars. Which just sounds like a good time to me. Okay. Good. I could be the spy master. Okay, so, um, 
given this person i didn't think about this this is going to cause a problem for me going with this particular set of uh this particular set of weapons is going to leave me in a position where I really can't stop this player from doing what he wants. This player I can, but I can't aim that low uh, from this top position. So I'm in a bit of a rough spot here, yeah? So I think what I need to do is add one more of these here. And begin expansion protocols. There we go. Okay. I think I might take this opportunity. to redo some of this here. Please don't deform too much, thank you. I have goofed so hard. Wow, I'm getting slaughtered from three bases here. Okay. This is not something I can maintain the damage on. Didn't I sell that off? Could have sworn I sold that off. Okay. So they have gone heavy laser. And are leaving me in a rough position. Focus fire hurts very hard. That came online just in time. So, I would have won, I guess, my direct opponent. Um, because I kind of broke his most things. But he had a teammate. And he had two teammates. And they were both very angry. <laughs> Alright, let me fix this. Okay. Okay. Still always vanilla is fun, but it's play forever before it gets interesting. Begin got a little old. New content looks way more the same. I don't have strong opinions on the new content. So I haven't really seen it much, so I can't say too much about it, but... Okay, so first off, I want to go down like so. Then we do this. And then I do this. Shut this down. We do this. Alright. Another player lost. Not ideal. Well, that was a beautiful shot. Okay. Not even mad. And shield doors? Yes. Yes, yes. We do, we do have shield doors. Amazing how that works, isn't it? Okay. 
Are they spook? No. Tried so hard, got so far. Come on, I've hit the wood, it's on twice, thank you. That's it, boys. Oh, the AA comes in clutch. I'm alive. Does it matter? Negative energy production. Way too much damage incoming. They did a great job of focusing fire there. They did a very good job of focusing fire there. I went from... I, I'm waiting for my opponent to make himself vulnerable. And then blowing him up when he did to, um, oh my god, I'm getting hit by three players, just instantly. I genuinely don't know what happened to the other team. I assume they just decided to focus fire on the other players. We're all gunners in front of shield at door instead of behind, because I need the shields to not... I need the shields to, uh, to not be open so that they, they don't die to lasers. You should have gotten shield doors. I didn't make that mistake. I had shield doors all over the place. They went under them because I was being fired upon from beneath. What killed me? He MPs. Someone call for an orbital laser. <laughs> nice shot. Ta da! Well played, well played. Let us go. You're melting, you're melting. Oh no. If only, if only. Ready. Yeah, so I was playing uh, Conqueror's Play Blade with my little brother yesterday. It's actually a lot of fun, you know? Uh, in the current state of things, the, um, 
the only way to you can't pvp up until you uh get to max level max character level and then you can pvp thunder travis i've already had to kick someone for not okay Welcome, Ethan. Actually, I, I want to try... I want to try this mod here. As I've... I downloaded it because it seemed good. And I want to try it out. To see how it works. All right, let's go. It is good. I I believe you. It seems very good. Mouse controlled missiles. I've seen mouse controlled missiles. <laughs> it's uh, not not something. It is definitely not something I want to have um, um, at the moment. That is for sure. What does this mod do? It enables, it allows you to choose what fort you want at the start. All right, let's go. So I have selected this fort. It is mine. And there are others like it. But this one is mine. Yeah. So it, it's actually a good time to... Um, it was actually a good time playing Conqueror's Bed. Like, it's, it's... Mechanically, it's quite fun. My only gripe about it, like, mechanically, is the control scheme. And specifically, it's the... Um, issue where issue with the sprint and dodge hotkeys being less than ideal so the team's a balance that's not possible to do that i'm not going to try to do some tournament qualifier thing to like that's sorry i'm not, not doing that that's just not gonna happen why wouldn't you make the back fort and then tier threes? The back fort actually doesn't do tier threes. The back fort does direct fire stuff because they're the only ones that can build. The back fort is the only fort that can build tall, so it wants to be doing a lot of anti-air and like cannons type of stuff, like standard stuff. Uh, the forward base is the only base that also has a realistic amount of forward real estate, so that base also wants to do like dedicated AA. If they're doing bigger later game weapons, it's fire beams. Like fire beams and anti air. Like fire beams and shotguns is like dedicated forward base raw. Uh, the two middle bases are the ones that do tier threes. Because they're the only ones that realistically can. Or that's not true. The other bases can, but the other bases, if they do so, are sacrificing important roles on the team whereas this base um, doesn't sacrifice anything because it can't do anything else because the base in front of it is too tall to shoot directly and it can't build tall myself because there's a base behind it so unless you're doing something special where you're purposefully blocking off your teammate because your teammate wants to do something unusual <clears throat> and then um that's yeah, just kind of relegated to uh tier threes <laughs> tugboats are so cute how unstable are they they're not terribly unstable um the smaller the boat the more unstable it is or should i say the less stable it is but it's well within the realm of workable well within the realm of workable. Mm. 
I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay short here and go with this. That way I can give my rear teammate some more room to play with things. Concerned that he's gone heavy eco and not AA. Tier 3 laser. Oh no. Are the turbines creating minerals? The propellers down below are creating metal, yes. The mineral analog. How do you view your separate chats? I Personally, I just do a pop-out window of each, so I have a monitor that has all of my chats on a separate pop-out window. Um, I've played around with doing a merge... Like a, a single chat for all of them, but that just wasn't... I didn't like that as much. So I don't get the features of the individual platforms. Okay, I'm actually going to do a two and a half high here. Nice. and then we do this one two I will add this here because other people aren't but I don't expect how close are we oh yeah I need to not go nuts with the angle on this something a little closer to normal to straight blue to blue blue to blue that was a tier 3 landing next to me alright we'll see where those two land One and two. About the same spot. Okay. I'm okay with this. So if I can remove that player in particular, that would be nice, TM. Because that's their main... Uh... Oh, bad... Player eliminated. Death by tier 3. Okay, so too far, too close. Need to aim you a little bit farther out. A little bit closer in. And uh, I could just slide all three of those up there. That would work better, wouldn't it? Good. That must have been the second shot. Okay. So that's a player eliminated, which is unfortunate for us. Most unfortunate. Incoming tier 3. Our rear base is not getting AA. Is one of the few bases which can get ear, which can get AA. So, um, we're just kind of going to not have any kind of defenses here for the rest of the game, it would seem. Which is unfortunate for us. Without AA on the team, we die. Our forward base is no AA. Our rear base is no AA. I can't build up to get AA. 
without blocking my rear teammate's ability to do anything. And our forward teammate is dead. This is the lost game. Um, I do not see a path to victory at this point outside of the most lucky tier 3 hits possible. And even if I kind of get them, it's unlikely to be in our favor nonetheless. Alright, so I now have nothing in front of me, which means direct fire time. Unfortunately, I did not build my base in a way that makes that realistically doable. Got one of them. So here comes luck time. Uh, this is going to hurt very hard. Could have been worse. My cannon tanked that for me like a champ. Okay. We'll just get rid of that real quick before it becomes a liability. Correction, it is a liability, so we'll get rid of it. yet? No. No, I cannot. I think I need to readjust that position again. Alright, so I'll readjust you here. So we can have a nice straight platform once more. Having a good time over there, buddy? Nope. Okay. One, and I didn't get AA. I don't have the money to buy things. Alright, so fortunately, that was not being used. Unfortunately, I kind of don't have the money to stop anything from happening. Hopefully this will help. Well, that's bad. That's real bad. Mm -hmm. Is there a torpedoes mod yet? Not to my knowledge, no. Struggle to imagine how that would even work or what that would be like. Oh, that's too far. It's way too far. He's burning them out of the sky. Solid hit. I think he burned the other one out of the sky. Okay, let's do this. No touch. Woo. All right. That's a hit. Yep, they're reacting to me firing these and burning them out of the sky, which is understandable. The torpedoes are rockets that fly through the air. <laughs> as well as water. It's not really torpedoes. Understandable. Ah, uh, the tier 3 hit. Yeah. Unfortunate. I was trying to work on defending that and repairing it. It didn't happen in time. So I don't have the money. Upside down missiles that only work in water. That's not how Fort's physics works, though.
god, the tier threes. Oh, he burned it in time. Um, yeah, I don't have a solution to victory here. I, I'm just taking hit after hit. And kind of hoping my teammate has better luck because he's not the one getting hit. But, like, I don't foresee that happening. So, I think we're, uh... Hey, we hit him. Whatever that's worth. Have they been burning my tier 3s if they go up? Yes, that is what they've been doing. Here comes death. I tried. Alright, so. Um, unfortunate for... Yeah. We kind of... That's the thing, like... On this, on this map, you need to have specified roles, and the roles are determined by which base you select. So, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> sniper strong sniper no sniping he's just kidding it's useless a little bit a little bit I've got a lot of nighthawks how many of you lot guys have nighthawk launchers His base collapses. Oh no. Boat forts can be difficult to build on. Uh oh. This hasn't been launched yet, so uh, I find it difficult to imagine that won't be launched like right now. Interesting. Kind of expecting him to use the uh, EMP as a distraction. Hey, there we go. <laughs> the fire beam. And that's a hit. A beautiful shot. Don't think that kills, but will certainly reduce his base to nothing left, yeah? Yeah. Did he... Does he nail it? Oh, that looks good. A solid hit. Leaving, leaving nothing left. Looks like the final player is just going to let it burn. And there we go. GG. Player eliminated. That was extremely one-sided. Like, I got a lucky hit with a tier 3, but extremely one-sided. How about... Half and half, yeah. Squirrel's Peak. Uh, we'll do that next lobby. I wouldn't mind that for next lobby. <laughs> Very OP mod. Yeah, I'm familiar with Volley Fire. It's, um, n not in my interests at the moment.
Which occurs to anyone's great impressive. No, it, it seems it seems quite alright. Like I like the idea. I don't mind the idea of there if it like being a commander ability, even a passive or some sort. Okay. I even don't mind the idea of it being like here this week on Forts we're trying a a map which adds this new feature where all weapons can be aimed via volley fire just to see how it plays out but Alas. That's a level of chaos I don't know that I'm jumping into right now. You kind of go, don't get people that see squirrels peek a lot of time and then just build cannons into the back base. Hmm. You safe to assume volley fire is selecting a target versus skill shotting. Yes. It allows you to paint, basically paint targets for all of your, it, just like you can paint targets for your uh, swarm missiles, it basically allows you to paint targets for all of your weapons. You select a point and your weapons just fire at that point. Like, you know how we will manually aim cannons one by one and attempt to hit the same spot over and over? The volley fire, you just pick a spot and you press the button and all your cannons fire. Which is... Nice. Very nice. Just a little bit... Dangerous. Hmm. You know, for reasons. I built one too many door. No. Ah, uh, that's only like eight seconds behind. I'll be fine. Probably won't be fine. Isn't that just like aiming correctly and pressing E? No, so E actually, the refire actually adds a degree of, um, imprecision on the weapons. So if you if you refire, it doesn't technically refire into the same spot. It's close, but it's not exactly the same spot. It makes it it makes it uh generally not worthwhile to or it makes it less optimal to refire. Like, the refire will still hit the same base, but it won't hit the uh, same spot on the base generally. So if you're actually looking to do as much damage as possible, it's better to manually aim every single time. Which is fine. It, uh... Just requires you to raise your APM a little bit. Very common practice across most RTS style games. I 
expand out here a little bit. Mm. All right, focus fire, I guess. Nice hit. Got him. All right. Well, so what you've done is you built weapons and you didn't put doors on them. So now you experience explosion because that's usually how that works. Targeting me with flak. Is that what's going on here? Oh! Interesting. then. So that's coming from a couple bases it looks like. I'm just gonna put me in a rough spot. stability stuff here. Yep, a good thing I moved. So that would have been bad. That would have been real bad. Okay, um, we need to get a little bit more damage output here, guys. I don't know... Oh, that dropped in from on top. Okay, uh, I'm going to need to... I think I'm going to need to sell up. Yeah, alright. Yikes. getting hammered very hard and he's gone what happened okay well okay one can in the dream there's no way there's no way Ah, he missed. All right, same spot. Oh, this is bad. Doing some more damage to him for whatever that's worth. They're not going to let me have that. I 
Okay. Ah. Denied. Five cannons. They've gotten so far ahead. Okay. It's been fun, team. Give in time. Uh oh. Hello. Oh, do we actually get it online? I mean, yes. Hey, not a perfect return to sender. But it did way... Wow. Okay. That did way more damage than I had any right to. That's for sure. Okay. So, um, this is the world I live in now. I don't have much. And by not much, I mean eff effectively nothing. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> Another hit at the same spot. I just built that. You know, that's rude. Tried so hard, got so far. Okay, just hard. Oh. Oh, brutal. Yeah, uh, I don't have the money to rebuild that. Um, um, okay. Death and disaster all at the same time. My favorite combo. I like how I'm getting anti air as if, uh, as if that's going to save me from most of their weapons. Oh, all of the economy is gone. All of it. Are they seep? No, they're something. Um, probably pinch fist or something. It doesn't really matter. Uh. Three MPs. Ah, uh, it's been fun. Bye, cruel worlds. There we go. Okay. 
<sighs> what if Fortnite plays at 8 p.m. to build quickly? In forts? No, it's a very different experience. As much as people say that, oh, look how fast you're building in forts, it's not that complicated to build in forts. Or to build in uh, Fortnite. In Fortnite, it's click, button, spin, circle. The difference between a well-constructed base and a not well-constructed base is largely... Is largely... Um, if you know how the mechanics work, not complexities and the interactions between them. Hello there, Prince Dragon. Welcome, welcome. Spam click, not equal APM? Yeah. Well, in Forts, you don't even have... I mean, in, in Fortnite, you don't even have to spam click. You click and hold the button. Like, that's just not... It's not a thing. Like, the, the complex... The complex bits of building in Fortnite come to doing instant editing kind of stuff. Let's do it. Admod hide sees. Yes, please. Thank you. Let us go. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't mind the that start mod. I don't mind playing around with it some more because it's just enjoyable, you know. Makes for a good time all around. Did they remove building in last season? Uh, yes, I haven't played Fortnite in a while. Um, I I did see the headlines that Fortnite removed building, which is interesting. Um, I mean, it's kind of what made building building is kind of what made Fortnite interesting to begin with. So I don't. All fighting over these cores. Okay, there we go. So I don't know how I feel about it going away, but it has a no build mode now. It didn't remove building. That yes, that makes more sense to me. Do -do -do. With the, uh... You don't like it when you should hit someone when they build the city. Well, yeah, that that is one of the things. Like, it's it takes physical skill and practice to, uh... To build... Defenses in a way that is... Uh, PvP advantageous. And most people who play Battle Royales as a whole are not hyper-competitive individuals that are looking to get good at doing things. They're looking to play a game in which they can play without having to worry about winning. So... All right, good to know. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so when it comes to most Battle Royales, Fortnite akin to Fortnite among them. The, uh... Building it just ends up being a try-hard, high-skill cap experience or feature in a game where nobody wants it. Where in a game that's not catering to those type of individuals. Like, Fortnite does not cater to people who want to get good. They cater to people who want to feel good and not spend the time to do so, to actually get better at the game. 
Which, you know, it's fine. But, um... Including things like high skill cap, high skill cap uh, mechanics doesn't doesn't help. It doesn't help with that end goal. It's not like the Fortnite can't be played in a competitive manner. It just isn't. It just doesn't target that audience. Building is way too spammy. That is another discussion. That is another discussion. Because just because something makes it unique or in or stand out doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. There are certainly ways to limit the spamminess of mechanics without getting rid of the uniqueness of them in most cases with rare exception I just find it much more likely that they um, were like hey this is a problem this is something that's making a lot of people angry so let's try getting rid of it and see how it works out as opposed to anything else <laughs> roasting Fortnite players well it's it isn't a roast it's just analytics like when you when you look at the numbers of things like look at how many people are complaining about it and it's not because it's something that somebody cannot do it's like okay well we're playing on console so we can't do all this and we're playing against pc people it gives them this massive like no that's not that's not the major complaints people are just not like sure that is a complaint that happens and that is something to be said and considered but that's not why it's being why it was questioned about why they should have it in the game the major complaints were, well, I don't like playing against players who can who can build these giant cities instantaneously, and if I can't, then I just can't fight them. It's like, okay, well, people are able to fight them just fine. It's you specifically or not, because you cannot compete at the same level they are, which is a very different discussion than, well, it's too spammy, or there's some other mechanical reason to not have it. The issue is that there is a, a f few players and a far fewer players than most that can actually handle playing at that level. It's just a mechanic that's too hard for the average player to use. And if they don't use it, then they're at a, at, at a disadvantage that's insurmountable. It's a very, very different experience. Very different reason. <laughs> you like the podcast format? I have been tempted to do a podcast style format for things because I don't mind talking. Okay, I really don't. It's it is it is a rather enjoyable experience. Incoming tier threes. podcast where I might do a literal podcast. There was, I did get an invite to do, to be on someone's podcast a while back, and I didn't do it because I was lazy and for no other reason. It's tier 3 flak? Why are you like this? So I realize now why I was uh, I had so many resources and nearly floated it all away in the early game. A pinch fist, which I didn't notice before, before now. Hmm. There we go. Okay, that's the shot I wanted. Okay.
If you could build a five-story hotel every time someone shot a bullet in general direction, you're very likely to perish. Yeah, yeah, that that was kind. That was a consequence of the building being so powerful, and most people did not fall under that category. So most people are just likely to perish consistently, which doesn't make most people want to play the game, you know? It certainly has an audience. It's got a large audience. But that audience is that they want is much more casual. Like the, they're not looking for the tryhards. They're not looking for the people who are good at video games. They're looking for the people who have money and free time and don't care about either. And that's not something that you get by catering to the tryhards. Is that you're just too busy playing video games instead of having a job. I understand that feel all too well. Then again, I did both. <laughs> it's like I had a job and played video games. Okay. I'm going to do this to indicate that I am well aware of their shenanigans and to aim at someone else, which might actually be a bad idea. I probably want them to aim at me because I'm not likely to be injured by it. I'm sorry. What happens? Did you get buzzsawed from underneath? You got energy beam from underneath. Okay. I see how it is. This song's so happy. Alright, where is this thing? I've sent three shots over penetrating it. The 80-20 formula. Yeah. The 80-20 uh, rule. It's called up a whole bunch of things. It's The 80-20, the when I was looking into it, it actually ends up being worse than 80-20. It's just 80-20s, for the most average instance, is the closest you get to it. It ends up being a scenario where it's like it's unavoidable so you either make money off of it or you get farmed there's no in between it's like it's not even a moral issue at that point What I need to do here is I need to increase my firepower dramatically. Uh, this was their tier 3 player, so I'm going, I still have to be careful about that. What to do? Let me do this, then. Mm. 
good hit. Clean through. Do -do -do. So, what hit me? I saw a flash and an explosion. I didn't notice what it was. Please let me build. All right. I guess we're just going to fire. Standard cannon hit me. Okay. Alright. Um... This is not a good position for me to be in, as I'm going to get pummeled by this, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it from this position. I'm going to need to knock down their front door to stop it. Okay, yeah, we gotta we gotta change up the angles here a little bit, I think. Oh, I actually can hit that from here. Okay. Take back having all good players we have, Mando. <laughs> oh no. This is the end. Hey, I'm the last one alive. Yay. Incoming death. I probably should have gone tier threes as well. Because if we were going to do with a strat that involved not knocking down the front door, then I needed more firepower. Wow, I'm slamming this. And it's uh it's not going down. Big scary. Here are the tier threes. One, two, three. There we go. Death. Massive destruction. Widespread devastation. They took down the front door. Okay. Now we go under. That's not under. That's also not under. That's extremely inconvenient. Whoa, massive damage. Why am I EMP'd? Oh. Hello. Um. Hey, that changed the angle on my weapons. What that means. Please come off the MP. Please come off the MP. PS. Okay. What did we learn about double dooring? Alright, good damage, good damage. Uh, that's been fun. Alright. <clears throat> There's, um... Hmm. That was inevitable, I think. Not much I could have done about that. Needed more than just me. Alas. Good match. Uh, let's do something like... Here we go. You honestly don't think you've ever seen me lose before? Ah, uh, okay. I imagine you don't... You don't watch much. 
at the risk of making accusations. Accusations? That's not even an accusation. Observation? Over the past, so like four matches all gone 0 and 4. I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, so far, it's we won a battleships. We won. You love you join the stream. You have no idea what's happening. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Let's go. Does the whole does the whole map portals map still work? I don't know what you just said. Loop the map. I, as far as I'm aware, it still functions fine. I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Uh, what set of weapons do I want to go for this time? at the opponents for inspiration it's not it's not giving me inspiration that there's no way here no to go with. Today, we play with the box. It looks like a fort. Mm. This is one of the greedier rushes you can do. This is not a rush, just quick. Yeah, I saw that coming a mile away and elected to do nothing about it. This is the uh, German Force Tournament today. Yeah, I saw that was going on. Uh, Zaltzvuk, doing Zaltzvuk things. He's actually upgraded into rockets. Full hard rockets. Okay. Understandable.
one shot on the oh that's an issue yeah I knew I was gonna lose that one Excuse me, what? I almost died to that. What happened there? Now I can't even fire my weapons. Wow, did that really go like multiples in and delete my nodes? Okay. Scary stuff. One of these days I'll make this snipe. I've fired that's six shots at it now and I haven't hit it. I am a disappointment. Alright, nice hit. Nope, that's me dead. Okay. Uh, that, that's a rough combo there. No more energy. Guess he teaches bottom right. The one hundred percent. I was confused as to why he wasn't firing earlier, but questions have been answered. Player eliminated. Nice shot. Did you build sandbags up there to defend against what? Nighthawks? The catastrophic cascade, yes. Does he get it? A beautiful shot. Ripping off the weapons. Oh, that hurts a lot. That hurts Team 1 quite a lot. Oh no. Hello there, Eagle. Welcome to the chat. So, uh, Team 1 has not been entirely defanged, but in a less than ideal position. Team 1's players have managed to reclaim the um, expansion, so in an okay position. Given the eventuality of time, Team 1 will be, at, at, will be gaining power faster than Team 2. You see the Team 2 players here looking to expand further. We'll see if it's enough or if it's too little too late. Team 2 trying to delay the existence of uh, Team 1's expansions. See if it works out for them. My lower end is kind of well defended. So I don't foresee them breaking through that particularly well. But... Buzz saws in all fields, tickling the forts a little bit, as they tend to do. <laughs> Don't think you've seen the uh, win the past 10 games. It's entirely RNG. As much as I like to say that I have a meaningful impact on these games, uh, the forts community 
the skill difference in the forts community is so great that whether you win or lose the match, it's going to come down to the skill play, the skill of the players. You're playing a 4v4. If there are, say, three tournament champions on one side and one on the other side, then one of these teams is going to win 100% of the time. That's just how it is. Like currently, it's myself, Mandalorian Jedi, Alex, and King Benjai versus Flynn, Zaps, Tsushita Luigi, and Eaton. Some pretty prestigious players there, actually. Like, every one of them. Like, there's no one here that doesn't have badges or some of the sort. So, team balance is... This is the most balanced match we've had so far. In every other match... In, well, this one is not immune to that. But in every other match, it's just been... The team that wins is the team with the most competitive players on it and that's just how it is like it doesn't matter how good i am i'm not going to beat three or four players at our competitive level that's not going to happen sure i can beat most of them at a 1v1 or so forth so on but that doesn't change the fact that if i'm against three of them like i'm sorry that's not how rts games work so most of these lobbies are they just come down to which team has the most competitive players? Yeah. And so I don't even try to balance it because it isn't it isn't worth trying to balance because it's it's impossible to balance for. Unless I'm doing like a literal tournament, it's just impossible to balance for. In the previous ones, like in the battleships, was a good for, was a good example. Where I was spending more time actively undoing the work, TM, doing the work that my uh, teammates were doing, as opposed to anything else. In this one, it's it's all competitive players, and we've seen it's actually a close match. It's down to a two v two. Team 1 is winning, but just barely. Gosh. At this point, Team 1 isn't trying to end the game. They're just trying to do damage, break them, because like eventually Team 1 will expand further. Like, no, there's nothing threatening the top player right now, so he can just expand and do what he wants. The bottom player for Team 1... He's got a lot of work cut out for him, but he has three bases worth of economy. And as long as he's spending his money, it doesn't really matter what he's doing, as long as he's spending his money. Whereas Team 2 is suffering, by comparison. Sure, they both have functional bases that are okay and in decent shape, but they don't have the uncontested freedom that Team 1's top base has, nor do they have the economy that Team 1's remaining bases have so all team one has to do is just keep firing keep dealing damage and eventually team one wins like especially if, if team one manages to take out this economic platform which is what they've been aiming for basically the entire time and emp lands is nighthawks are carrying team one oh yeah they're doing well yeah, like if King Benja keeps firing at uh, Team 2's mines there, like it's inevitable. Team 2's chance at victory is attempting to get a critical hit, which is what you say they're trying to do. They're trying to time their shots so that it takes out the missiles on defense while still dealing damage. <laughs> Perhaps Team 1 needs to build portal for top player weapon. No, uh, the, the King Benja's weapons are perfectly capable of hitting the spot it needs to hit. He's been hitting the shots he needs for quite some time, which is why all of this and all of this and all of this is no longer present. Top player team 2 going for Nighthawk. I do not see that happening. Like, sure, I died. I did my part. I broke this player in the process, 
I'm doing my part. King! It's not that far for a cannon shell. Cannons do have a fair bit of uh, imprecision about them. So even if you have the perfect aim, they won't they won't hit the same spot every time. But uh, yikes. It's not that much. I'm just giving King Benja some sass. And so here they come. Cannons from below. Kind of surprised King is changing targets here. Like, aiming for the mines is, especially in this position, is just so strong. That's so many lasers. Hello there, Holly. Welcome to the chat. Assassin of Fort's Lobby? No way. Here they come. Here comes another laser. Oh, Flack actually hitting those. Okay. Alright, so here we see the cannons doing the shots and the damage they were looking to do. Uh, so at this point... This player, not in a good position at all. Okay, yeah, he's done. The only thing that was keeping him in the game was that he had a large, thick chunk of wood and material defending him. Now that that's gone, there's nothing stopping him from losing all of his economy. All Team 1 has to do is make sure they don't lose all of their connections to the rest of the bases. And then King Benjai needs to land the shots. There we go. That's a good hit. That's a very good hit. Remember that Team 2's base here? It only has two mines. So if King Benjai hits that, uh, hits these two mines, like he's he's done, he's dead. And if you just go straight to the core, same kind of thing. Regardless of what happens, King Benjai is going to need to take out these two mines because the moment this core is gone, uh, Yutsin's just going to claim that base. And he's going to have the two mines. So he's going to need to continue firing on that for some time, very likely. Oh, and the laser gets both of them. It's like, look, it's already up to four mines now. But four cannons, dude. Four cannons is so much damage. <laughs> yeah, Alex. <laughs> this player here, he's just got to spend every APM. Poor Alex. Yeah, just spend the APM. Just continuously just... Alex's role right now is to be the eventuality. As long as Alex spends his money constantly, he will continue to grow and he will grow faster than their opponent can ever hope to just because he has three bases. And it would it would help significantly if King Benjai was able to clear out the eco. Or I guess if either player was able to clear out Team 2's eco. But that doesn't seem to be happening. Of course, four cannon rounds going into your base is not economically uh, stable. At this point, Team 1 has two ways of ending the game, which is the only two ways to end any Forts match ever. You either starve them out economically by doing massive damage as much damage as possible until they cannot afford to repair or you penetrate straight to the core looks like team one's going for the penetrate option trying to focus fire onto the enemy's core it works um i'm not a fan of that in this particular position just because team one has such a dramatic economic advantage but who am i to judge they are uh, it is a perfectly acceptable option You just need a boyfriend. Oh no. I would not recommend um I would not recommend searching random internet streams for that. That's a uh 
kind of a contradiction. If you're looking for a person-to-person -person relationship that cannot be obtained without a person-to-person -person, uh, relationship. Using those, using two different definitions of the same word there. Because it's fun to do that. Hey, there's a good shot on the mines. This isn't Tinder. Well, to be fair, Tinder is a horrible place to go looking for things because it's so filled with bots that it's kind of depressing, actually. You think they defanged him? Uh, I think so. Eaton is uh, just surviving at this point. Yeah, if players doing this, especially when it comes to... Especially when it comes to... Um, like the top tier players like i don't like trying to penetrate to the core because the top tier players like we know how to defend things like there's no reason to put yourself in a position where you can have your core just insta snipe so if someone's gonna do that then just drain them of all their money look eaton here he's got the only mines he has access to are these three up top if they disconnect him to the, from those three or if they destroy those three he's got nothing and then he can't rebuild to be fair he can't rebuild against the current firepower anyway so like they could just keep firing as to be have the same effect but if you're going to do as much damage as possible you might as well aim for the most valuable resource the most valuable bit which is the economy at this point you met your wife on Tinder? The best relationship you've ever been in? Yeah, no, the best relationship I've been in uh, was also there. So I'm not, like, I can't knock it too hard, but uh, going to a public live stream and asking for a personal relationship is not, that one doesn't work very well. It's not even like going to Tinder or going to, I don't know, pick, pick whichever online service you want that's meant for putting people in contact with each other this one this is a youtube live well sure you can banter with someone back and forth but if you're looking for a specific like if you're specifically listening for a personal an interpersonal relationship it's not the place to get it this is like this uh, this entire environment is designed to do the opposite of that so it's just not a great Oh, yeah, I don't know if you have the range on this map for that. All right, so there's clearly a, a laser there, and that needs to go away because King Benjai is under threat. Big threat. All right, so right now, Eaton has zero mines. There's no way he rebuilds if he gets hit. Good lord. Well, he regained access to the mines and the energy beam with it. There's some good Okay. Yeah, that doesn't have the range. Oh! Energy beam is back online. Be careful, King. That can hit you really hard. I only say that because I want you to win. Okay. And there is a vulnerable spot there. Oh, the Nighthawk comes in, which would have cleaned it up anyways. Beautiful shots all around. How long was this match? 23-37. Well, hello there, Cockroach Man. Coming in with the everything is on fire. I'm glad you enjoy. So this was a very good match. This was a very, very good match. Ta-da! Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's exactly what it's saying about twin, like things like Tinder. Like you can't knock it. Like it works, but Tinder, like by design, is purpose built to get people to interact with each other. Like stage one of Tinder, find someone you could reasonably like at the most surface level. Stage two of Tinder, go interact with them, like interact with them on a physical place where you can actually have a relationship or have any kind of I, I don't mean like 
specific relationship. I mean, a friendship, a relationship of the any kind. That's that's what Tinder is for. YouTube, Twitch doesn't work that way. Like it's expressly built to stop, like to mitigate against physical interaction, to to go against relationships like Sure, you can banter back and forth, like chat. Like we call it parasocial for a reason. I can talk to you. You guys can text at me. Like that's very different, very different experience. Like there is no attempt to have anything that would be considered a normal or reasonable. Not reasonable. That's not the. That's that's an in, improper description. That would be considered a normal or human relationship. Like, if you're looking for someone to talk to, if you're looking for... Well, I guess that's dependent. It's different, but... It depends on what you're looking for, but... No kind of relationship is found on, uh, on YouTube or Twitch. No personal kind, anyways. You like texting at me? Hey, that's what we're here for. For its gameplay greater than Tinder. You, know, you say that. You say that, but like unironically, it is. I used to spend a significant amount of time uh, and much of my free time just trolling on Tinder because it's just so much fun. I guess catfishing isn't really the right word for it because, like, I always made it obvious that I was a troll or just there for fun was never a it was never a uh, I was never pretending to be something I something that was uh, going for a relationship of any kind but oh god we're pinch fist again I just sold why do I do this I... okay now we wait all right Delta Sigma good luck out there my relationships are overrated anyways. Oh no. You're saying the membership doesn't unlock the Incursus Eating Sim. No, but it does unlock only Guans. Which, once I find the Lizard Doggo Guana, I will, I will post him. Do 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 do. I should actually probably fire up Tinder again just to see what it's like now these days. It's probably depressing. Because, like, every time I've been there, just to look at it, to troll on it or whatever, it's always been filled with bots to an unreasonable degree. And it's depressing is what it is. NFT Iguana. I wouldn't dream of it. Well, hello there. Otter coming in and joining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You've gained access to all the beautiful emotes here on the channel, as well as the special access roll on Discord. Welcome to the party. That is going to be a uh, stuck in my mind forever. All right. You, sir, look like you got greedy, and you... Oh, just in time. You didn't have that. That wasn't metal a moment ago. You rebuilt that at the right moment. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Difference of the metal. That looked like... Okay. I'll take your word for it. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I've made a mistake here, and so I'm going to change my strategy dramatically. And hope it works out. Do, 
It was actually today I uh, was outside and the iguanas were out in force, like the whole squad. Just doing their grazing thing that they always do. This is a problem. I need to stop that from happening, ever. I also kind of sort of built this a little bit too far back. Not ideal. It'll work, it's just not ideal. It's also kind of vulnerable. Is it on the clock? Yeah, we are way behind here. I have no excuse. I got distracted by AP spending APM. I'm sorry. Pass beam, fire beam. Coming in for the clutch. Alright. Pretty certain he had wind turbines. You sold your metal. You committed pinch. Oh no. How dare you. Alright, so I broke him. Uh, who's next? Oh yeah, that's not really going to work around these parts, is it? That's a good hit. Did he have ammo back there? What's going on? Oh, hello. Problems. Okay. Uh oh. Got him. Alright, let's do this, this, this. Hopefully that gets us a little bit more angle to play with here. Going to reinforce this because I can. No. Aha! You did it! You found my weakness! It's a sniper. Aha! You did it! You found my weakness. It's a sniper. Alright, you good? You burning it? Oh, that might just explode. Oh, very close. Got it. Okay. I am prepared for your shenanigans. Oh, not that prepared. I tried. You had two of them? Okay. Kind of surprised, actually. <laughs> some wooden nighthawks. Yeah, some wooden nighthawks. That's uh, unexpected. Iguanas versus duck. The ducks and the iguanas legit just have a war. Because it's duckling season right now. And the ducks do not like the iguanas. Because the iguanas really like the ducks. Especially their eggs. Didn't think you would need AA? Yeah, I didn't either. At least not until the... Uh the big shots came out, and then I figured, ah, I could tank a hit, I could use the energy dome. 
I could. And then there were two cannons. This is a very w a good play off of uh, Eaton here. Targeting these players down here. Because this guy's not really threat. Alex is not really threatening him. And these players are are many things. Expecting to get hit is not one of them. So he can kind of ravage these players from above and no one's going to do anything about it. <clears throat> you at Nighthawk, it did not work. You were correct. It, it did not work. He's Magna. Oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> Didn't have great angles on top. Yeah, no, I know you don't. Because that's uh, it's your position. Alex is going to have to win a sniper war and win map control against an opponent who has heavy weapons. Like, the heaviest of weapons. The <laughs> entire team because of that gun, yeah. To be fair, Howitzer would have the same effect. But... Get it, get it. Oh, he's got so much defense. Which I think he needed to aim that slightly lower. Yeah, because that deck gun's firing from up here, so you need to aim here. But, alas. Uh, Alex could win this if this player doesn't get involved. Unfortunately, he's getting involved quite heavily. Very heavily. And, um... Yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. Welp. Um, hmm. Oh, no. Oh dear. Chris has died to one shot. No, I didn't. He, t he sent two shots at me. I blocked both of them. And then he sent two more shots at me. Uh, I blocked one of them. and died to the second after that. That's four shots. It took him four shots to bring me down. That's it for next time. It's just go Nighthawk and Magna Beam for the meme. Listen, learn don't up, don't opposite Eaton. I mean, to be fair, uh, he could have he could have won that. I think there is a very solid and good chance that Eaton or that uh, Alex wins that if uh, if the second player wasn't here to assist. I don't know what happened down here. Uh, whatever it was is not good. New lobby yet? Yeah, new lobby? Yes. I should add gaming music to the playlist. Uh. Yeah. Death from above. Those are very well shot. Very well aimed. Wow. No AA from other teammates. Can't blame everything would happen in the top. Here. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, uh... It's definitely... It wasn't... Alex's fault was not... Alex was not the main contributor to our team's defeat here. Think about it this way. It, this is a match that has eight tournament competitors in it. If one of the players decides to go for something that doesn't try to win the game, then it's it's going to be like you can see immediately how that's going to affect the outcome of the game. Of course, this isn't a competitive match where we're all trying to win every time, so like who cares? It's just an inevitable outcome.
Ta-da! <laughs> he seems to have an amazing feel for trajectory. No, he's incredibly good at the video game. Incredibly good at the video game. He is the best. Oh, hello. Welcome to Tonic. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the uh, screamy bird? The uh, one that sounds like a like a harrowing nightmare creature? I finally, after all these years, finally got a picture of the thing. It's um, a nightmare creature, to say the least. This guy, this sucker right here. Oh, I did tell you guys about him because he's loud. He's very loud. And he makes me sad. This, this is gangly nightmare creature is, uh, it's called a limpkin. It's active mostly during the night extremely talkative my talkative i mean louder than a cockatoo at full scream sounds something like a peacock on a megaphone crane it, it is it is related to cranes it's closer to a, an ibis it appears to be some kind of bird yes yeah, it is very similar to a heron. A fair bit smaller than herons. Looks cute. It does actually look kind of... He's kind of a, a nice looking creature. Like he's not like some... Grotesque... Fear monger. But its sound, the noise it makes, leaves nightmares. It's wild. By high powered pellet gun, quite ineffective. I don't know if I could bring myself to do that. I f am con. I have trust issues. If I'm in back, then I have to worry about someone in front who may or may not participate in combat. If I am in front, I have to worry about someone in back who may or may not actually uh, participate in combat. So... Nessie vibes. Oh no. Hello there, fish. Welcome, welcome. Your trust issues for tonight. It's like every strategy game. In a nutshell, any kind of co op experience. Okay, I'm I'm grouped to Flynn here. I trust Flynn. I trust Flynn greatly. shot at by someone up top. Top is already aiming down. I am not surprised by this outcome. I'm sorry. That was fast.
Is that a turbine? It is. Okay. Where did that come from? Oh. Yep. Death from above. Okay. Oh, that's death on my part, isn't it? Oh, I see what he's doing. Uh, he will need it before I will. Interesting decision. Got it. All right, so we traded there. Honestly, like... My job is to delay, not to destroy. So, like, I really don't need the upgrade center that much. Did you hit the core with that? You did. Okay. Shut this down. Shut this down. Just continue lockdown process. Hello. Alright, he's hard walled everything now. You know, one of these days that flak will actually eliminate that target. Clearly today is not that day, but tried so hard, got so far. Alright. So We don't have to rebuild everything, but nothing I can't work off of. Alright, now I get this going once more. One, two, three. Yep, move one rocket launcher. Start working on the next. See, this is what happens when you have a, a good teammate. I can win the early game, force them into lockdown. And then teammate comes in for the uh, the radioactive finish. And one more shot. Oh, nope, okay. Let's bring my weapons back online. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to ask him for his upgrade center. Oh, that's a mine. That isn't even a... I'm going to just get my... Instead, I'm going to go for this technology. Start working toward other supportive options. And aim elsewhere as well. So I want to hit this guy up here. Lock that down. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, hello. Deck gun. That's illegal. Alright, I will borrow this for a moment. Upgrade everything. things. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, next up, uh, let's undo this. Let's get this and this I think I just want to keep firing forward everything all right so the top players have been entirely eliminated they somehow managed to remove the rear player before the forward player which is a su dramatic surprise to me which means I need to switch this up to heavier weaponry I was expecting the opposite effect Okay. How did top back just die? I'm gonna have to look at that in the replay. Okay. Kamikaze. Uh, it may have been a uh, self-destruct. Eaton, would you like to explain yourself? Like, am I missing something here? Like, what? Why? Like, I get it, he's not... I get it, he's not that good at the game. Not at all. Is that, is that really the only reason? Because that's, that's what I'm seeing here. Like, he builds swarm missiles, the portal above it, and then a laser above that. Like, that's... It's not... I understand. <sighs> so here's the thing. We have a rule against team killing here. Like, that isn't allowed ever. And the, the typical, like, ban from the lobby is how it usually goes. You guys, you know you love watching that happen. And I'm, I'm almost tempted to not do it. Because I'm almost tempted to not do it. Because it was kind of inconsequential. But I mean, that's still... I, I will let 50 tanks wait for his response there. Different map, yes.
team kill you exactly he should he should be kicked yes and i'm willing to give 50 tanks the opportunity to forgive him and if he doesn't say something i will be i will be having i will send eaten out from the lobby no coping so hard oh no Ah, uh, what's a good map here? Punish him on 1v1! No, no, no. How does Eaton not have... He probably undid it. You have to upload the rules. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, I, I don't like... I don't like... Like, it's, he's saying he's forgiven. It's just like, ugh. Okay. I'll, I'll let it go this time. But, like... I, I'm very much a rules kind of person. I, I will let it go this time. Team killing is not team killing is not allowed. Like if it was not a player who knew well what was going on, I guess another player who is another common person here who is okay with it, then like like specifically in the scenario where it, it wouldn't have mattered one way or another. Alternatively, you kick him and let, it, and let me join. Oh, no. Because he eats and he wouldn't get if he gets a chance. Well, there is a bit of a uh, commonplace mentality around, especially some of the more common, more uh, experienced players about uh, having fun team killing each other. It's not what happened here. He'll just do it again. I mean, if he does, there's not going to be a... I'm not going to give him the, ch the choice to be forgiven. Like, he's out. That's just how it is. The player that Eaton killed is struggling to stay alive and could do much else because of the Eaton attack him. No. Uh, the match was long decided before that point happened. Match was long decided. If if fifty tanks did not say that he was okay with it, then Eaton would be out right now. Even if he says it's okay with it and he does Eaton does it again, he will be out. Oh no. I floated so much away. Why would you kill him again? Why would you kill him in the first place? You should let me team kill these in. No team killing. We have better things to do. Alright. Um, this is one map where I like to... It's It's got this position here, and I like to play... Whenever I see positions like this, I like to do some alternative design. Just to 
get a little bit more goodness out of it. Yeah. I'm furious if you had a chance of winning and he pulled that nonsense to be after your head. Oh yeah, no. Uh, if if that was a match that wasn't already decided, it would have been a. Uh, there would be no questions about the uh, course of action whatsoever. The match had already been decided. You team killing Ethan? No. You think that having Ethan fight a lion would make us all feel like your values had preserved? <laughs> yes. Understandable. Okay. You good? Yes. Welcome back. I didn't notice the DC message. That's my bad. You crushed another D D session with just the right amount of fear in the players. Yas. On a similar note, uh, I've been doing the editing for the Minecraft video, and uh, <laughs> I didn't realize how much trauma I had instilled on the players thus far. It's hilarious. I am enjoying it. It's like every time they turn around, turn around a corner, like the, you can f feel the trauma in their voice. They've been hurt before. Spending a lot of time going on eco rather than quick rushes of weapons. I don't mind it, but it does feel weird not having weapons at immediate, immediately rated fire. Yeah, there's a magna beam there. I can't fire through that with this. Yeah, that goes clean through teammate. Nice shot. I'm in. Damage is damage. Uh, but that means I'm going to have to target these play this player for now. It's the pinch fist commander active. It's uh, use it whenever you feel is good for you. I got the core touch. Yeah. I play Minecraft? I do. I've uh I've built an entire adventure world. I believe there's the I believe there's the command in chat you could use exclamation point to hide out. So you can play it yourself. Oh hello. Did they ever nerf the ion ray in this game? I don't know what that is. I've never heard of the Ion Ray. Hmm. Let me change targets here. Uh, I just took something off of his top. I'm so sorry, Alex. I don't know what I hit. I did not see it there.
You can put it back if you so desire. Mm. Energy shields! Just realized we have a lot of laser weaponry and a whole lot of not... Not a whole lot of not laser weaponry. Teutonic was still here. But he burned. Killed his battery? Okay. Death via burn. So, we are going to need some anti-energy shield weaponry here sooner than later. Rip Teutonic. Teutonic, no! Um... Yeah, I'll go with this option, I suppose. I've already got a lineup that fits it well. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of this moment to fire clean through the, your base at this guy. Because I can. Oh, he's collapsing himself. If I can get a little bit of recoil on the base here. I don't have high impulse weapons available to me right now. I am so sorry. I don't know. Okay. Like, that was at the same time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Go for it. Okay, that one wasn't me this time. Is there actually... Oh, you are exposed to the ceiling. Okay. Uh, I can't actually fire because you've got a thing in the way. By a thing, I mean a piece of, piece of wood. I hit him. Alright. Damage is being dealt. Let me get this going. Let me grab one of... These. Let's put you here. Okay. Hit. After hit. After hit. Oh, but the lizard did so much. It did quite okay. A lot of people complain about it being overpowered. Those people don't usually know how to play the game very well. I don't have a follow-up weapon. How selfish am I for not building AA when I'm not vulnerable to the, the orbital laser? Oh, okay, that was not an energy shield reflect. I thought that was an energy shield reflect. I was about to be very disappointed in myself. There you go, good hit. Clearly suffering from energy production issues, so I'm going to hold off here for a moment and get my upgrades going. Focus more on the uh, upgrades here. Thank you. Give game. it was already broken. Um, yeah, okay, that doesn't just survive. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let's do this with this. This don't have to worry about tier three, so I can just kind of. Like how my brain is just immediately thinking in tier threes. It's too high. We exploded. A fire beam. Okay. Okay, if that's the case, then I want to do... This. Nope, not like this. I want to do... This. firing. Cut deep. I kind of want to just... I want to move this up here so I can actually use that to fire at this guy at any point in time. Magna beam. So strong. Uh, what else can I do? Looks like an abomination. Yes, yes it does. Let me... Do this here. So I can start working on one of these as well. Okay. You seem to be suffering in the... Uh, damage output department quite heavily. Hello, Magna Beam. Or Fire Beam? Fire Beam. Alright, gone. Excellent. No, <laughs> you're winning by sharing. I am winning enough to share, and honestly, sharing is not the uh, optimal solution here, but I like it. That's all there is to say about it. Alright, I really can't aim at that. I swear. I swear, this is not... I couldn't... I could not do that on purpose if I wanted to. Actually, that works now, doesn't it? Um, okay, okay. You... Uh, you tried. All right. Um. This shouldn't collapse. Yes. Who is above me? Yeah, there you go. All right, he notices. 
Go nuts. Oh, the Magna Beam at the last moment coming from behind. Beautiful. Okay. Honestly, that's... The laser beam is not all it's cut out to be. Uh, Flynn, if you give me access to that spot again, I can... I can, uh, rebuild it for you. So that way you don't have to build there. Okay. That works too. I need to actually avoid the portals here. Yeah. I can't avoid the portals. These portals are incredibly difficult to use because I can't actually see where they're coming from. So what he did is he built them there and then let me connect to it. That way he pays for them and then I build them. Which works for me. Tiny door for the win. Okay, we'll upgrade you. Get another ammo piece constructing. No. Oh. Importing curses for trolling. Oh no. These guys ready to fire? They are. actually almost killed my core. We're going to build it right back there. Now this time behind a one of these. And a lot of this. Oh no. Why are you like this? I have returned. Good news. You can get on top of the space elevator. Bad news. <laughs> It launches your crate into orbit and you lose all you items. I swear that that okay, that one was on me. I understand efficient and clean factory layout. <laughs> Alex. Alex, I'm so sorry. It's we have been the pinnacle anti synergy this entire match. Welcome back, Jack. Coming in with us support. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. What happens? Why am I dead? Okay, go away. What did I lose? Mine. Okay. Yeah, this position, without the top player to aim at, this position with the lasers was a mistake. It is impossible to aim through those portals. I can send shots through them, for whatever that's worth. <laughs> I seem to love doing bad things to Alex these days. No. I promise you, it's not on purpose. I'm just bad at the video game. Okay. Got 
Everything is on fire. It's always on fire. You need this, my friend. Well, time to start throwing things at him. Anyone got a kitchen sink? <laughs> Why are you like this? Okay, so let's try this again. Still suffering for energy production. Not that much suffering, but... You know, those portals work surprisingly well for those missiles. I lost some of my my own ammo in that. All right, let's do one of these. and don't have anyone to go hiking with to use up my energy. That, uh, that makes sense. I've had a fair few ADHD friends throughout my life. I want one of these. I, uh, I understand how that feels. Although I've never exhibited extreme ADHD symptoms myself. Okay. So, if I can get some more... I really liked that setup there. As much as it's not ideal, it's... I think ideally I would be building cannons. I should probably do like a cannon switch here. He's changing the hey portal you. positions right Time now. To stretch. I almost shot them. I am Hello also there. autistic, so I get the double dose of not understanding normal human behavior smile with horns. Ah, understandable. That one sounds a lot more rough. Okay. Do one and two. Time for ammo. Alright, construction underway. <sighs> I want to upgrade you because I don't trust myself at this point. Alright, it penetrated. Hit something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you take the COVID booster shot, it hurts so much, so bad it hurts to even think. Oh no. Make it, make it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Okay. That'd be great doing that same shot again. This seems like an instance where it might be a good idea to, um... <clears throat> might be a good idea to upgrade this guy. So, a secondary weapon unlocked. Okay. 
cut deep with that. And then same spot here. Hey, we actually went to the foundation with that one. Nice. Lost a couple batteries in the detonation. Okay. Let me make sure Flak is online. That was forgotten. Alright. And if it came out, it cut ships in half with one shot. Oh, it hasn't changed. People are just not... It's just these players in particular actually build defenses, so... You don't see them uh, falling apart to it. It's a bit of a different experience. The average player player still dies super hard. He's just trying to do trick shots with it now. That's what's going on. Okay. What's it do? What is the next way I want to increase my firepower. Gonna add a third one of these. Cause you can't stop me. Alright. Alright, yeah he saw it. Did they give up? Okay. <laughs> Explosions all around. Okay. I want to see what happened here. Was it legit collapse? Because he almost he's had some collapsing issues before. Or did he give up? This, I think, was a direct elimination. Because we were hitting them very hard. Oh, yeah, no. We were hit, we just hit them all at the same time. Okay. I wanna watch that in slow mo. Destruction in all fields. So, watch how much. This one, this one's satisfying here. Look at that collapse. Ooh, satisfying. Yeah, that's satisfying. I am. Um, I like that. That makes me happy. Alright, so what we are going to do now is we are going to go say hello to a friend because I am hungry. I need salad for food because I have I need more foods. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to make sure to use that raid command. And we're going to go say hello. We'll start this off in a moment. Wow, their chat is so dead. I hope you guys can fix that. D -d -d Double kill. Oh yeah, no, that was a good that was a good time. So many forts explosions, and then I can go edit all the videos. And get all the food. Make sure to follow the link. If you're on Twitch, you need not press anything. It will, will automatically handle it for you. Because that's how the rating system works. Excellent, yes.
Yeah, yeah. And then we get to watch what happens, as they're currently playing Age of Empires 4, which is an RTS game, which is a very good time. How do I like my lettuce? Smothered in non-lettuce material. Wow. So I'm fairly certain the way the rating system on Twitch has worked. Because it only shows 80 of you guys ready to raid, but we've got 130 viewers right now. So, at least on Twitch specifically. So I'm guessing it's changing the way the viewers are counted based on uh, based on uh, all the good, based on all the like whether you're watching, whether you have it minimized or whatnot. In any case, it looks like you guys are trickling on over, so we'll go ahead and start that raid right now. We'll see what happens. Now with customizable hotkeys. Is that the case? Do we actually have customizable hotkeys now? Oh my. That is actually kind of nice. Like, it's about time. Am I vegetarian? No, no, I am not vegetarian. There was a time when I was a vegetarian. Uh, we are no longer there in that period of my life. I like this. Oh. Oh. Internet, please. Is it mine? Oh. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Looks like she's uh, quite focused. So we're going to have to let her jump on in that. Oh, no. Don't know well. Alright guys, have a good one everyone, and I'll see you